All right, so I'm going to do a quick video showing how to clean um, the MacBook Pro butterfly keys if you're having problems pressing them down, like if they're getting stuck or sticky, or maybe there's crumbs underneath. The, I'll show you how to remove the keys um, so that you can clean them up. So first what you need is a thin tool. I have one like this. And usually, let me show you what they look like. So underneath the keys, what they'll look like is... Let's see here. So if you look at this, this is the number eight key. So if you look towards the top, you'll see it has these um, little kind of claws or something towards the top. And then towards the bottom, it has these little hooks. So, so the way this works um, is basically the key will hook towards the bottom like this. And then the claws will grip the little plastic parts here towards the top. Okay. So I'll show you how you can remove them real quick. Um, most of them are pretty similar. Oh shoot, sorry, it's getting stuck back in the hole. Okay, all right. So let me get this out. So basically what you wanna do um, is you pry up the parts that are gripping like this. Um, for these smaller keys, the little parts that grip are on the outer side like this. And then for the arrow keys, I haven't um, done one recently, but if I remember correctly, the top one will have it here and then the bottom one will have it here. It's basically the same key and it's flipped over. I might have it backwards, but it's one way or the other. The shift key, it's longer and they'll just have multiple clips going across the top. The return key most likely is the same. And uh, I'm not too sure about the space bar, so if you're going to attempt this, be careful. I don't want to attempt it on a customer's computer because if I break it, I'm going to have to get more parts. But um, most likely, they're, the longer keys are going to have like multiple running along the top. Um, but to remove it, because there's so many keys, you have to be careful because basically they'll all tug on this plastic piece. And if you pull it too hard, it could rip this thing out. Um, so yeah, so now I'll show you how to remove it. So basically, you get a thin tool and then lift towards one corner. Um, you don't want to like go too far because if you go too far, what you'll be doing is actually lifting the hinge like this. So what you want to do is you can push it down until you feel the keyboard and then kind of raise it some and then just get between the, the key and the, the, the metal piece. So one way to kind of help is you slide the pry tool closer to the edge, the corner like that. So that way when it gets to the corner, it'll actually um, lift and pull itself like that. And then um, if you have longer nails, like I grow out my nails for this kind of stuff. Um, if you don't need to do it urgently, I guess you can grow out your nails and do it too. But basically, um, once you get a corner, it might be difficult if you're like doing it just straight with your nail. But once you get a corner, let me see if I can show you. So usually I'll like get my fingernail underneath and then let's see, it's hard to do this with one hand while filming, but yeah. So basically, let's move this out of the way. I would get my fingernail underneath and then kind of just slide it along and then it pops out just like that. So, and then you just wiggle it and you can pull it out like that. Don't use too much force when removing the bottom because you can break the little hooks. But as you can see, like it, it catches on that pretty easily. And then to put it back, you basically just put the two bottom hooks back first. And then you can push the two corners back in. Okay, just like that. All right. So to clean these, um, you can use like a toothbrush if it's something dry, not a li like sticky liquid. And you just lightly brush it out. Or you can use, I don't usually recommend the air cans because they blow really cold air, which can co form condensation. But if you want to use that, just do like quick sprays. Like, ch -ch 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 -ch. don't like hold on to it because then the constant cold air will cause like condensation to form and it can make water damage getting the keys. Okay. Um, I like to use this electric blower like this one. So they do have a computer version. This is actually for like drying motorcycles, but it works. Just don't point it too close. And then to remove like sticky liquid or something like this, if it's sugary, what you do is you get a piece of paper, like paper towel, just fold it up like that. 
and then just get like a tiny bit of water and then squeeze it as hard as you can make sure nothing drips out as you can see like it's dripping out so make sure nothing drips out when you do that if you got too much water in it you can just get like a second one wrap it in there and then squeeze it again so that way the paper is just slightly wet no water is gonna like drip into the computer and then as you can see the sticky stuff you just wipe it like this see it's slowly going away and then you do that and basically you just do this multiple times so be patient with it so wipe it after you wipe them all with with the first one this is going to be all sticky and contaminated so you get another one wipe it all again and then you can maybe do it a third time just to make sure there's no more sticky residue um, if you just do it once you'll probably feel like oh it's fine but um, the sticky liquid uh, when it's like saturated with water um, it won't feel sticky but once it dries again it's gonna get sticky again so make sure do this like two or three times so that way you don't end up having to like pry them all out again um, if you do it once and then put it back you might think it's okay like like these will feel normal but then you'll you'll hear like a more clicky sound it'll feel a little bit different so to make sure and be extra um, thorough just do it once with a with the first one get a clean one do it a second time and then get a third one and do it a third time and that should make it all nice and clean but yeah pretty much the clips will be here for the small keys most of the time um, for the up and down they'll have one on this side and then one on the other side it's basically the same key just flipped um, and then these keys actually they're different so they'll both be at the top and then um, if I if I remember correctly I don't know Apple sometimes change the design but if you're doing it just don't pry too too hard um, and then the space bar is a little bit tricky um, but I believe they're all at the top as well. Just be careful with that. Um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, if this helped you, uh, please like and subscribe because it'll really help me out. Um, and if you have any questions or comments, just leave them below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.